Rocker. Um, I looked in the dictionary under Rim Rocker, and it said, see David Latine. So I went to David Latine and said, see Texas Western. I went to Texas Western and it said 43 orange. <laughs> was that you? Was that you? That and, was probably, probably me. And can you confirm that Pat Riley is afraid of heights? <laughs> Pat Riley what? Is afraid of heights. I heard that. Because you sm the one that are jumping over your head. You, you, <laughs> you, you, you smashed it down on him, man. It's... That's still one of the best. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's always he's been real good about the whole thing. Has he? Have you talked to him before? Say again. Have you spoken to him before? Oh yeah, several times. I was with him at Harvard about oh, about four, four or five years ago. Yeah. They gave him a, uh, an award, so he came. He was at the award. Yeah. What? Well, Really nice about the whole thing. Yeah. Well, David, I think the person that needed to be nice about it is you. It is I said the person that needs to be nice about it is you. Yeah, I mean, he's the, you know, he's the first time guy. Yeah. He's denied or just say anything derogatory about it. He, just, he told me that. Uh, they had no idea what they were getting into. Yeah. Um, what did you think about the movie? About the movie? Yeah. I thought they did a good job. You know, there were several people trying to do that movie 15, 20 years before they, they yeah. got it done. And uh, I mean, you know, nobody agreed that anyone, anyone else had done a good job. But I thought they did a pretty good job of what they had to work. Yeah, you don't think they uh, embellished or anything like that? Well, you can always, there are always ways that you can make it a little bit better, you know. But, yeah, uh, it's like uh, Shed, Shed didn't, uh, what they had to work with. Yeah, Shed didn't get beat up in the bathroom. Hey, 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 bathroom. Those kind of things. Hey, tell me what, what your uh, memory is of, of Coach Haskins, and if you want to use that that dunk in the 66 game to start i mean did he really tell you just to go out there and raise hell well i actually thought about it yeah well i thought everyone did an excellent job of talking about it bring it, bring it back to life yeah know? and so i thought that was good yeah um what was it like playing for Coach Haskins? What was it like playing for Coach Haskins? Coach Haskins? Uh-huh. He, uh, like playing, what, was it like playing for him? Yeah. You know, he was a tough guy, and so was I. You know, we got along well together. Uh, we knew what we had. Uh, I knew what I had to do. He knew what he had to do. And, uh, you know, we got along fine. I mean, there were some guys that didn't get along with him as well, but I got along with him. I knew what I had to do. So yeah. I think he understood, he understood that, I, that I did know what I had to do. Right. And uh, we, 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 we made it work in his, the way he was the coach. So he was the boss. So we made it work in his way. Yeah. So, that's, that's the way it was. And I can honestly tell you that he was an excellent coach. And he coached for two hours a day and one, one hour and 25 minutes was about defense and 15 minutes was going on there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How about that? Um, and uh, you wrote your book, Slam Dunk to Glory? What about it? Your book. What about it? How's it doing? How did it do? Uh, well, it did okay, okay for a while when it was, when it was hot, but, uh, you know, nothing's happening right now. Yeah. I, mean, I, can re I can re do the thing if I want to. And then some people have talked to me about doing that, about publishing it again. So I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. We'll see. Yeah. 
And so you were the 10th pick in the first round of the NBA. Uh, first round of the NBA, correct. Um, is, is, that, is, that, is that the highest of anybody out of Utah? That, that is that a 10th tenth, a tenth pick in the first round? Is that higher than anybody else at UTEP? I mean, Tim Tim Hardaway didn't go in, in the first round. Uh, you know, I'm saying you going tenth in the first round. I think that's the highest draft pick that's come out of Utah. Oh, you've been doing that uh, during that period. I mean, I, I guess that that's the most first round draft choice. Yeah. So, did you play for Golden State at all? Well, it was called the San Francisco Warriors. Yeah. And you played a little bit there? Yeah, and I was playing. They drafted me as a center, as a six foot center. That's not where I should have been. I should have been a small forward, you know. But the coach told me that he didn't have anybody else to back up Nate Turbin, so I got, I got stuck there. So yeah. And, uh, you end up in Phoenix. I've got two jerseys of yours. I've got a um, a Phoenix jersey, number 43, in purple. And I've got a Memphis Tams jersey of you in yellow, number 22 there. So Correct. so how long did it was it before you uh, played for Phoenix? And when did you make your way to the ABA? Well, I would say they, they drafted me, and then the uh, first round again, one of the, one of the first players that you picked was Phoenix Sun. Yeah. They were, they were an expansion team, so they could they could take uh, the, the team to could, could protect seven players. Seven? They could protect seven players on the, with, the, with the draft of the new basketball team. So Phoenix got drafted me. But I was, I was happy about that because that was going to give me a chance to play. Yeah. And did you so, uh, did you play there? I, I did, and I broke my hand in the first exhibition game. Really? Never recovered the whole season. Now, but I never really got well. How did you break your hand? Uh, I, I, I was going for a layup at the end of the game. I scored 23 points. I was going for a layup and I was talking the guy. I think his name was pushing in the back. And it went for the next pushing game in the high school gym. Wow. He pushed me in the back and I swung back. I swung back and hit him on the head. Hard head. The worst place he hit the back on the head. And when I swung back, I broke the outside bone in my head that didn't heal. Yeah. In fact, when we got back to Phoenix that night, I went to the hospital, they, they put it in a cast, and uh, six weeks later, they took it out of the cast and said it wasn't healing right and broke it again and put it back in the cast. Wow. And I'm telling you, the thing didn't get well all year. Wow. So did you uh, re-up with Phoenix for another year, or did they move you? No, uh, I decided, well, I need, I need to move on. The ABA was coming. And the club cars were there as well to be a chance to play with them. So then I started jumping around all over the place. Do you like do you like playing for the Globe Trotters? Excuse me? Did you like playing for the Globe Trotters? Uh you know, it was different, you know, the job and uh, it was okay. I mean I didn't have it wasn't nothing that was really against it. Yeah, it was just different from playing than me. Yeah. And also, you were drafted to play in the NFL. I was drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs. When yeah. Playing well, and drafted me wide receiver. Yeah. Do you ever consider it? I wish they had a visit, but I never really consider it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, you know, I thought it was something to be drafted by the NFL team, but uh, I was. I thought it was a basketball player. Yeah. 
What did you do when you retired from basketball? Excuse me? What did you do after you retired from playing basketball? Oh, I, I went into the old stuff that's good. It's still spirit business. I worked there for about 30 years. Wow. Then I got into the pharmacy business, and then I had a rental car business. And then I was all over the place. I was doing a lot of things after that. Wow. So what do you think when you uh, are watching a, a game or a sports cast today and they're talking about the all-time greats? You know, when people in broadcasting talk about the the best five NBA players and, uh, you know, they, they have LeBron James and this person and that person, they're forgetting the real the real guys, aren't they? The question is, what do I think about the athletes now? No, who do you who are your five favorites? If you had to pick a starting lineup. My five favorite players, first guy is Will Chandler. Okay. Without, without question. Yeah. When you when you're talking about winning, you gotta, gotta miss your job also. Yeah. And then uh, there's uh, the other players, uh Clyde Drexler. There he is. And uh well, so many guys to choose from, so many magnificent players. I'm trying to take it to who I take for the fifth player. Uh, You're leaving out Michael Jordan. Excuse me? You're leaving out Michael Jordan. I am leaving out. I don't want to do that. Uh, I can think of Michael Jordan. But you're right. Michael Jordan is going to be near the very top. Yeah. Okay. Michael Jordan. Yeah. He could do it. But I mean, you got people like Oscar Robertson. Yeah, the Oscar Robertson. And they were talking about the Oscar being the chess player. Talking about him and moving somebody else to that spot. What about, what about Nate Archer? I mentioned Oscar Robertson. You mentioned Tim Bathroom. What about um, Tiny Archibald? Johnny was the only player that I ever knew that led the league and a stiff and points at the same time. Isn't that crazy? That's impossible. Yeah. Uh, in, he did. in today's game, it wouldn't happen. It's just get down the court and throw up a three-pointer. You know, there's no inside game anymore. Oh, he was awesome. He was, I mean, he was a beauty, beauty to watch. Yeah. Let me see what else I got for you. When did you graduate from uh, Texas Western? I didn't. You I didn't? Early. Okay. A year. I needed to help my mom. And so uh, I, got it. I got my degree online about 25 years later. Yeah, well, that's good. I'm glad you got it. So you had a relative that was playing in Oklahoma? Is that right? Uh, Grandson. Yeah, your grandson. Yeah, played in Oklahoma. Kadeem Latin in the day. Yeah, where did he end up? Well, you know, he played, went to Europe and played for, for a while. And then he just called home one day and said he was going to play back home. And he just quit. No, he didn't want to play anymore. He was in Europe, playing on the team in Europe. And he decided he didn't want to play. So the worst thing you can have is a person on the on the floor who's not totally committed. Right. Doing well. You know, if you don't want to play, you just need to stop do what he did. So he's doing the fire department. Yeah. Well, he wow. You keep up with the other guys? Do you? Do you keep up with your teammates? Do I talk to my teammates? Yeah. You know, from time, every now and then, uh, we may get invited to something or a level of call every now and then. I'm sure Harris was on the team. I talk to him all the time. Yeah. He came on the he was on the winning team. He can't be here later. Yeah. How about Nolan? Do you remember Nolan? Nolan Richardson? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Could he play? Yeah. Is, is he still in that person? No, he's in Arkansas. He's in Arkansas, okay. Yeah, but he could play now. 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I think he was a football player too, right? He? I know he played baseball. Okay. Okay. But they, <laughs> yeah, he used to do a celebrity golf tournament here, but he quit. Uh, we're all getting older, aren't we? Yeah, he was. Uh, he was there when Coach Haskins got there, right? Yeah. 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 One of the first, first now, my there. my basketball coach at, at Eastwood High School in El Paso was um, Bobby Leslie. Okay. And Bobby was one of the first recruits by Coach Haskins. Okay. You don't remember him? Uh, no, not really. Yeah. Um, How about Cager? You know, you know who that guy was that you talked to earlier today? Who? You know, Walter Richards. You know, he was at Utah. Oh, he is? Yeah, he went to Yates High School. Yeah. And he's the guy that, uh, that uh, I said, so Coach Haskins, I suggested that he go out and bring it down. He had tremendous quickness. And he was a great guard. Why? Of course, Coach Askins, he didn't get along too well together, but he stayed that guy that got a degree. And uh, he's been on it. Oh, good. He's been around. Well, he's been around. Well, he's been around. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's a rich. Well, he's been here. He's been here. Yeah. Thanks. Do you still see Clyde? Excuse me? You still see Clyde Drexler? Do you still see Clyde Drexler? I see Drexler all the time. Yeah. You know, we have lunch probably about uh, at least once every two months. We have lunch. That's nice. Yeah, we still. Uh, I know you guys were best friends, huh? Yeah. And what about uh, Joe Gomez? Do you remember him when you were? Of course, Joe Gomez. Yeah. I could never forget Joe Gomez. Absolutely. Why? Oh, he's a he's a real he's a real minor. Yeah, he <laughs> he is Mister Minor, isn't he? Oh my goodness, he is without that question. Yeah. One of the finest ever. You know, you guys made him an honorary member of the team. Oh, he is. Yeah. He, he definitely is an honorary member of the team. Yeah. Maybe. Huh? Maybe. Hold on, hold on a second. Leslie. That's all right. So we were talking about Joe Gomez. Was that? I said we were talking about Joe Gomez. Yeah, he's a great guy and a great friend. Yeah, I don't get to see him that often because uh, I didn't have passed so much, but uh, he's always been a great friend and a great guy. Yeah. Yeah, one of, matter of fact, one of the best guys ever. Yeah. If, um, Guys, yeah, I bet he he's a big fan. Yeah, he's a big fan. Yeah, big fan. Yeah, his license plates are still TWC sixty six. Oh yeah, on his car. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I miss Bobby Joe Hill. I miss him a lot. Yeah. Um. Uh, what do you what do you remember about Bobby Joe? Well, that he, that everybody liked him. He was a wonderful person to be around, and a like the best basketball player in the country that year. No doubt. He was a, he know that. Yeah, he was the best player in the country. But wow. No and why didn't he? Why didn't he? Why didn't he go on and play any further? How come he didn't play any further? Oh, let me tell you something. He would he stayed in stayed in line with what Coach Hatton was doing, basically, basically, but he was a magnificent athlete. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, David, I, I we've had a nice conversation. It's been hard getting it done, but I'm glad we did. <laughs> um, I wish you all the best. And uh, when you get to uh, when you, when you get to thinking you're going to republish your book, give me a call because I can help you with that. Okay, I will. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Again. Feel free to call anytime you want. Okay, David. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye.